All right, I just want to show you, this is how I save my Photoshop file. So I have my coffee file open here. Um, I've been saving it as a PSD file. I have all these layers here and I want to retain them. So when I submit it for the assignment, the professor can open it. So I will go to File, Save As. I'm on my desktop. I'm on a Mac. You might be on a PC. So you may have to select your desktop option. I'm going to go down here in the format. I'm going to change this to the Photoshop PDF option. Select that. Make sure check mark layers is on. And then by default, these other two were already set and I was fine with that. I'm going to hit the save button. Um, once I do that, okay, there's going to be another dialog box that comes up. I'm going to hit OK. This is where I want to make sure I set it to high quality print. If you end up choosing sometimes the other options, it will flatten everything when the professor opens it in Photoshop and she's not going to get your individual layers. See, is there's an option, make sure this is checkmark preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. Okay. Um, they're normally checkmarked by default, but just make sure they're set that um, checkmark. Save PDF button at the bottom. I'm just going to hit yes. I'm fine with that, that it's earlier versions. I'm going to hit yes. It's going through the process of saving. All right, I'm just going to close out of that. Now I'm going to go to my desktop here. I'm going to minimize this. All right, so the PDF file is right here on my desktop. I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it to the Photoshop icon. And then when I open this in Photoshop, see, it is a PDF file, but it's retained all the layers. Okay, so that's how I would do it. Make sure you zip your file. So I'm going to close out of that again. I would go ahead and right click. My computer's a little slow. Right, right click and then go to compress. So when you click the compress, it will go ahead and create a zip file. It's going to pop up on your desk.